I never thought I'd end up thanking the conspiracists, but here we are. Thank you, 5G conspiracists, for creating a market for Faraday screening fabric that you can make hats out of to protect yourself from 5G death beams. And this fabric, I wondered, is it really going to be as conductive as they say? Because there's a couple of styles I've got here. And uh, it's very conductive, extremely conductive. They say that the material it's made of is a mixture of copper, nickel and polyester. And if I bring in a meter and I set it to just the continuity test, it's just super low resistance. If I set it to ohms, you'd think that, uh, well, let's fold a bit of fabric out. Let's get this bit out of the way and I'll bring it back in afterwards. And we'll fold this out and we'll see what it's like along its, as much as I can spread along the bench. There we go, that should do it. Okay, so let's get the meter on here. And it's on ohms and I put the probes here. And it shows 0.6 ohms and a lot of that will just be the leads themselves. I don't know, can you see that? Okay, I'll put it on again. Super low resistance. So I can think of lots of interesting applications of this. I mean, yes, it could be used for the Faraday screening it's intended for. And some of the reviews were very odd. They basically said things like, I wrapped my phone in it and now it is safe. Yes, because it doesn't work anymore. And also uh, the, the people that are making hats or lining hats out of it and saying it reduces brain fog. I'd be worried about the super fine metal fibers of this though, though it doesn't seem to splintery, so to speak. So, if we shine a light through it, and I'd say the description of the feel of this fabric is a very lightweight waterproof nylon is how it feels, but it is completely water permeable. It's not waterproof. If I shine a light through it, it goes straight through the fabric. It's, it, if you look up with a magnifying glass, you can see the sort of like, well, let me see if I can just hold it like, is it going to show? No, it's not really going to show, but you can effectively see light shining through it. Let's bring in the other one, which is a bigger, heavier bit. And I'll provide links to these because I'm sure that you'll find many other uses. This is what they call the geometric style because of the pattern on it. I think this is a meter by half a meter. And uh, this has this strange crosshatch effect on it. But once again, it's, uh, if anything, it's more transparent to light. Is this going to work if I hold it up over the camera? You can kind of see through it, I think. Yeah, you can kind of see through it. Um, if I'd changed the exposure there, you would definitely have seen through it. So, uh, other applications for this. I mean, obviously, yes, Faraday screening is, is useful. You can put it on the inside of enclosures and ground it, and it will provide screening for useful reduction of electrical interference to equipment inside the cases. But other applications, I can think it would be a great electrode for electroosmetic um, purposes where you bonded this onto a membrane and it was basically uh, making a conductive surface over the whole surface of that membrane on each side for electroosmotic experiments. That's where you transfer moisture or humidity through a material electrically. I think it does require quite a specialist membrane as demonstrated by that company Rossal who make uh, electronic dehumidifiers. But this uh, has lots of possibilities. It's a very interesting fabric um, and uh, perfect in many ways as a sort of permeable electrode. But let me know in the description, down, uh, description, the comments down below, if you can think of uses for this. And I'll provide links to the AliExpress listings I got it from. It's not that expensive. So perhaps something worth adding to your general stock of uh, electronic stuff that could be very useful in the future.